The Angkor Wat was vast, to say the least. Hailed as the largest religious structures in the world, it boasts over 400 square kilometers or 300 football fields worth of space. I'm not going to bore you too much with details, I'm sure there's plenty of other media that will tell you about the history and the construction with much better accuracy than I can. I want to show and talk about this place in a much more human light, sort of like the way that I saw it. When I got there, there was already a storm of people outside coming and going. People from all walks of life joined in exploring a timeless structure. I couldn't help but think about what it would be like hundreds of years ago when this place was in its prime. Were there armies and merchants and wise men stepping on the same stones I was treading on? As you start to approach the first gate, the smell of incense pervades the air. You come face to face with the statue of Vishnu, the Hindu god of preservation for whom the Angkor Wat was actually built for before it became a Buddhist temple. The statue is easily twice your size and sets the tone for the rest of the trip. Everything here feels larger than life, like it was truly fit for the kings of the olden days. The path to the main complex was still a ways away, but to our sides sat ruins of smaller buildings. Storm tossed by time, but still upright and proud. As we stepped inside, I was astounded by the level of details in the carvings. It made me wonder how many artisans had to work on this, how much manpower it took to accomplish such a task. After exploring the main buildings, we headed to a little rest area to freshen up. There were shops and restaurants inside small makeshift stalls lining the road. My family sat down for some quick refreshments and decided that some of us should go on ahead to the peak while those who wanted to get away from the scorching afternoon sun can take a break until the rest get back. The peak, as you might expect, was steep. They had laid wooden stairs over the broken stone steps and put handrails on both sides of the path, but it was still pretty intimidating. But the view at the top was well worth it. It felt like you could see the world from up there. As scary as going up was, coming down was the same, if not scarier. But I'm glad I got to see it with my own eyes. I hope one day you'll get to see it too. Thank you. 
Enak lah, Bang. 